Hey there, Leo. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of May 16th. Um, I hesitated there because I was just looking at uh, a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, that's where I wanted to look at. But uh, you start off with the three of spades. Definitely watch your health, um, I would have to say. Um, you know, take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water. Get plenty of rest. Don't do things that you know you shouldn't do health-wise. As I've said, you know, uh, my dad's a Leo, my brother's a Leo, aunts, cousins, Leos. I, I have a ton of them. It's interesting. I'm just thinking about this time right now. And, uh, you know, my dad's dealing with health problems. And I'm trying to think of the other ones. But, um, you, you know, so it definitely comes up. And uh, my dad does things that he shouldn't do. So, you know, that he knows are not good for his health. So, you know, just watch all of that stuff, especially with this energy. Um, so definitely watch don't don't do things that you shouldn't do basically is what it boils down to if you know eating a certain type of food is not good for you then don't you know it's and if you know you shouldn't be drinking then don't it's like all this stuff is wrapped up under this card so definitely just watch the health next you have the jack of diamonds very good card Again, a lot of Leos are like starting new jobs and things like that, I feel, or uh, starting new paths or thinking about new jobs or maybe realizing that the job they have isn't as secure as they thought it would be. Um, and I really like the Jack of Diamonds for jobs, like entering into new jobs, entering into new businesses, coming up with new financial plans and things like that as well. Um, again, this, even if you're retired, this still applies to you because it could be you financially planning for the future and things like that. But I really like the Jack of Diamonds because the Jack of Diamonds wants to be the king. He's like one of the few Jacks that it's willing to work to get to where he needs to go. So it really represents that you are willing to kind of do what you need to do to make these things happen, to become more secure, more financially stable. Uh, it pretty much is only a finance card, but it can also represent there's definitely love coming in for those of you that are single, by the way. Um, but this can also represent an admirer at work. So be open to that as well. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts. Uh, good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. This card is called, under some card reading systems, it's called Fortune After Difficulty. So it can represent, again, good things happening after a difficult period of time. It's also a great card for socializing, going to social events, uh, being social, uh, meeting up with people, going to weddings, uh, large social events like weddings and things like that. Um, um, it's also a great card of uh, prosperity, of being prosperous, and um, getting together with a lot of people. It can also represent support coming from a lot of people, a support coming from a group. Maybe some of you are joining groups or maybe get, getting into meeting groups or things like that. So a lot of you could be doing that. A lot. I think that people need that. People need to uh, socialize more. There's like definitely a lot less socializing, especially in this like, you know, social media, you know, actually prevents socializing. So, um, you know, it, I think people need to get out and socialize, need to find people that they can associate with, need to separate away. Um, you know, I mean, it's funny because this is a card of marriage, but if we look at that in the sense of marriage, it's like people are really spending almost too much time with their spouses. They're not doing separate things, and that leads to tension and all this other stuff. So this is definitely a card of like getting out and, and meeting other people and doing other things that interest just you and, and knowing that that's okay. And you have the Nine of Hearts coming up next, which is a card that kind of speaks to that. It kind of speaks to that, like needing to do things for yourself in a lot of ways. I think that Leos can sometimes be very selfless and, you know, want to give and, and which is great but I think also you know it's it's can be not so great because you don't take care of yourself sometimes so I think this is definitely a card of doing that uh, but nine of hearts is a great card it's a, it's a wish card it's very similar to the nine of cups it's you know you getting what you want you getting something you wish for you getting something that you've always wanted so it's a really good card in that sense finally you have another 10 which I almost just dropped 10 of spades 10 of spades is a card of needing to let go of something it can represent um, even having a hard time letting go of something but it is a great card of transformation and is a good card it can be a negative card as well but um, just know whenever I get a card like the ten of spades I always want more detail so I pulled another card at the end which we'll talk about and that is a positive card so it kind of puts more of that positive change to it but this is you needing to make a change but maybe needing maybe being a little upset about needing to make that change you know of course sometimes we don't and it, man I do not want to hold on to this card for whatever reason so you never know and so maybe this is true that uh, sometimes it's like you don't want to let go of whatever you need to let go of to make that change but this is like you needing to let go of something and again at the end you have the eight of hearts which is very similar to the nine of hearts it's like a wish card getting something that you want so it's like making the transformation letting go of something you've been probably doing for a long time or letting go of somebody you've been with for a long time even could be very beneficial so 
Looks like a great week, though, other than that. And love, by the way. Tons of love cards, so love might finally be opening up for a lot of you Leos out there as well. But looks nice, so thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.